The pandemic forced the education sector to branch off into online learning, a model which is here to stay. A number of classrooms in St. Lucia are slowly integrating technology into instruction. The Library Boys Primary School is the latest to be gifted a smart classroom. I would like to assure you that we will put this classroom in good use. It will go a long way to assist us preparing our students with the requisite skills necessary for navigating the 21st century. And this gift will be integral in our institution and I think in the community and St. Lucia at large because you know we are losing our boys and this I've seen it in good use and the boys enjoying it and we were also blessed to have in a preschool at the time with the skills to actually lead that classroom. So I want to say thanks to Mr. Gates. The Taiwanese government has been instrumental in helping the education system transition to the digital era. I'm really, uh, what you mentioned, I'm really glad that students and teachers already put the facility into good use. And just uh, as uh, Royston showed us, this facility can really expand the learning experience of the students with a virtual uh, interaction and also break the limitation of uh, what we can learn from a sex uh, moreover. So I really glad that uh, we have uh, built this uh, smart classroom in uh, library boys school. And I would also like to take this opportunity to express my sincere gratitude to the officials from the Ministry of Education, the staffs from the school and South St. Louis Community College, as well as my colleagues from Taiwan Technical Mission for their joint efforts to make this project become a success. MP for Library, Alva Baptiste, noted that the constituency is without secondary schools, but plans are underway to establish an Institute of Science and Technology. I'm excited about today because the new economy we want to build has more to do with technology. And because Taiwan wants to share that experience with the rest of the world, they are in library this morning giving us a smart classroom, not simply as a gift, but as a tool to help us move to that new world that we want to build. I have said, in the parliament and out of the parliament, we are one of the few constituencies without a secondary school. I have four primary schools, but am I jealous of those who have secondary schools? Absolutely not. I believe, and we have started the process of putting the articles together, that we are going to build the Library Institute of Science and Technology. Library educators have embraced the technology as indispensable tools in delivering instruction in creative ways. Gino Filippi, HDS News Force.